students now i'm going to discuss about neuron or nerve cell so in this video we will be discussing about the nervous system the structure of the neuron and its function and about the synapse in detail if you have not subscribed my channel so please subscribe it and uh, please press the bell icon now let's see uh, about it neuron or nerve cell the unit of the nervous system our nervous system consists of brain spinal cord sense receptor and number of nerves structure of the neuron the three main parts of the neuron are the cell body dendrites and axon now i'm going to explain all the three parts of the neuron in the detail now let's see the cell body it is also known as cyton or perikaryon so if we break the word peri peri means surrounding and karyon is the word which is used for nucleus now nucleus is surrounded by the cell so that is why it is called as perikaryon or cyton now let us go through the structure of the cell body the first structure which we see that is a nucleus nucleus is large spherical ovoid and it is in the center so some uh, sometime what happen is uh, size also varies according to the activity of the cell so this uh, uh, nucleus basically contain chromatin fibers basically it is uh, storing that and that is a very fine uh, thread like structure cell granules are composed of thin parallelly arranged membrane bound cavities which are closely to the endoplasmic reticulum they have cistern vesicles and tubules so their structure also varies in the dendrites they are rod shaped so the basic function of the nissl granules is that they participate in the conduction of the nerve impulse nissl granule uh, nucleus ko surround karta hai iska basic function hota hai nerve impulse ko conduct karna aur dusra ek bahut important function hai ye ek catalyst agent ki tarah act karta hai jiski wajah se hamare cell ki metabolic activity jo hoti hai वो इंक्रीज होती है नाउ नेक्स्ट स्ट्रक्चर इज अ माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया सो माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया इज आउटसाइड द न्यूक्लियस यू कैन सी इट इट इज नियर द एंडोप्लाज्मिक वेटिकुलम सो दिस इज नंबर ऑफ माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया इज देयर दे आर रॉड शेप्ड स्पैरिकल एंड वाइडली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सो देर आर फॉस्फोलिपिड प्रोटीन इंक्लूजन which often appear in the granules or filaments isme endoplasmic reticulum ke paas bahut sare mitochondrias hain aur mitochondria ka kaam hota hai protein produce karna to basically ye protein banata hai now next structure is the endoplasmic reticulum ribosome and uh, golgi apparatus centrosome is also there it's uh, that is known as centriole now the centrosome contain a number of centriole and the characteristic uh, structure about the centriole that that is they are immature and they uh, they are multiplying neuroblast during the early stage of embryonic development now with the optical microscope or, or a typical uh, centrosome is observed in the vertebrate so its role in the neuron is therefore it is not clear why the centrosome is present basically isme centrioles bhi present hote hain ye basically uh, immature hote hain 
न्यूरोब्लास्ट सेल से बने हुए होते हैं एंड ये डेवलप होते हैं एम्ब्रियनिक डेवलपमेंट के टाइम नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्ट्रक्चर इज द सेल मेम्ब्रेन इट इज सराउंडिंग द ऑल द ऑर्गनल्स द सर्फस और प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ अ न्यूरोन व्हिच अपीयर्स टू बी बेसिकली सिमिलर टू दैट ऑफ द सेलुलर स्ट्रक्चर इन जनरल so within the central nervous system the nerve cells are closely invested by a network of neuroglial cells and fibers whereas in peripheral ganglia the nerve cells are surrounded by capsule of satellite of similar origin ab hum bahar ki membrane ko dekhenge usko bolte hain cell membrane cell membrane ka structure bilkul similar hai जनरल जब हम से, कोई सेल का स्ट्रक्चर देखते हैं सो सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम के अंदर सेल का जो स्ट्रक्चर होता है उसमें बहुत सारे न्यूरोग्लियल सेल्स पाए जाते हैं सो न्यूरोग्लियल सेल्स जो हैं ये एक स्पेशल टाइप का टिश्यू होता है जो कि हमारे नर्वस सिस्टम के ग्रे मैटर और वाइट मैटर दोनों में ही पाया जाता है students this is the structure of a dendrites which is coming out from the cell body it is branch like structure so that is why we called it as a cytoplasmic projection basically it is forming from uh, cytoplasm only the structure is uh, branch like because it uh, so that it can reach to all the part of the body and uh, it basically helps in the conduction of the nerve impulses so it conduct nerve impulses to the cyton so the stimulus uh, stimulation or the message which is coming through the neuron it is received by the dendrites and from the dendrites will uh, the messages will be sent to the cell body so dendrites are the main structure which are receiving the stimulus so dendrites are the segment of the neuron which receive stimulation in order for the cell to become active and they conduct electrical messages to the neuron to the cell body for the cell to function so there is a pathway of the conduction of the nerve impulse exon is a long process from the cell body it varies in size from few millimeters to even more than 1 meter in length so uh, basically exon is surrounded by a layer that layer is called as myelin sheath so the function of the myelin sheath is that it prevent from the insulation it basically act as a insulating sheath and uh, above uh, after the myelin sheath there is a outer covering or thin sheath is there that is called as neurilemma so these both layer uh, help the exon structure from the insulation myelin sheath is basically formed of a layer of fatty insulating substance that is uh, formed from the schwann cells एक्जॉन की लेयर बेसिकली कवर्ड है माइलिनेटेड शीत से और ये माइलिनेटेड शीत इट फॉर्म्ड फ्रॉम श्वान सेल इसको श्वान सेल बनाता है माइलिनेटेड शीत को और माइलिनेटेड शीत भी कवर है एक और शीत से दैट इज वेरी थिन और उसको हम बोलते हैं न्यूरीलेमा आउटर लेयर वेरी थिन लेयर सो माइलिन शीत में भी बहुत सारे गैप्स होते हैं जिस uh, उस गैप्स को हम बोलते हैं नोड ऑफ रेन वायर सो नोड ऑफ रेन वायर इज फाउंड बिटवीन द सेगमेंट्स ऑफ द माइलिन शीत सो द फंक्शन ऑफ द नोड ऑफ रेन वायर इज टू हेल्प इन द कंडक्शन ऑफ द नर्व इम्पल्स एंड सेकेंड थिंग इट क्रिएट अ एक्शन पोटेंशियल so myelinated uh, uh, exon where the action potential is created it helps in the product uh, in the movement of the nerve impulse from one node to the another node that is a node of ren wire
so now the last structure of the exon that is a exon terminal and these exon terminals are also a branch like structure but that is the end of the structure of the neuron so exon terminal basically they have a vesicles that is a synapse vesicle which store neurotransmitter so these neurotransmitter basically they really uh, they be, uh, form at the synapse and it helps in the conduction of the nerve impulse and making a synapse junctions न्यूरॉन का लास्ट स्ट्रक्चर एक्जॉन टर्मिनल होता है और एक्जॉन टर्मिनल में छोटे छोटे स्मॉल वेसिकल्स होते हैं जिसमें न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स हो स्टोर्ड होते हैं तो ये न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर एक केमिकल होता है जिसकी जिसकी वजह से नर्व इम्पल्स का कंडक्शन होता है साइनेप्स इज द पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट between the terminal branches of the exon of a neuron with the dendrites of another neuron separated by a fine gap synapse ek gap hota hai jo ki uh, uh, neuron dendrites ke beech mein paya jata hai aur exon terminal ye ek connection ki tarah act karta hai तो ऐसे बहुत सारे न्यूरॉन कनेक्टेड होते हैं डेंड्राइट से और एक्जॉन टर्मिनल से और उसके बीच के कनेक्शन को हम बोलते हैं साइनेप्स तो साइनेप्स बेसिकली साइनेप्स का वर्क होता है नव इम्पल्स को मूव करना या कंडक्ट करना तो साइनेप्स के रीजन के पास जहाँ पे डेंड्राइट्स होते हैं आप देखेंगे वहाँ पर न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर है तो न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर वो एक केमिकल है जो कि नर्व इम्पल्स को कंडक्ट करने में हेल्प करता है नाउ एज द नर्व इम्पल्स रीचेज द एक्जॉन टर्मिनल फ्रॉम दैट रीजन डेंड्राइट इज अटैच टू इट एंड फ्रॉम द डेंड्राइट रीजन एसिटल कोलिन इज रिलीज सो दिस एसिटल कोलिन एक्ट एज अ न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर एंड दिस हेल्प इन इन द कंडक्शन ऑफ द नर्व इम्पल्स Now I'm going to show you a uh, animation about the synapse. So in that uh, you will be seeing about how the nerve impulses are moving through the synapse junction, and which is the neurotransmitter which is involved in it. Now let's see. The human brain has ten million brain cells. Each brain cell can have as many twenty five thousand connection with other cells. for these signals to be sent there are two structure that is for sending the nerve impulse to the receiving cell they form synapse there now the chemicals which is released at the synapse that is a neurotransmitters now these are located at the end of the sending cells which help the signals to pass through the gap Serotonin is one such neurotransmitter a very important neurotransmitter which regulate our mood and emotions so af after this job now we will see the types of neurons basically there are three types of neuron first one is a sensory neuron so in the sensory neuron you will see there's a structure which is having cell body and exon is there so in the first uh, uh, sensory neuron you will see that receptor cells are connected with the exon terminals and they will be receiving the impulses and then they will be sending to the cell body so sensory neuron basically it convey the impulse from the receptor that is a sense organ to the main nervous system that is the brain or spinal cord so sensory nerve only contain sensory fibers which help in the bringing impulse from the receptors to the brain sensory neurons are triggered by physical and chemical input that is a stimulus sound touch heat and light are the physical stimulus 
smell and taste are the chemical stimulus for example if we are stepping on hot sand then what will happen it will give a stimulus to the sensory neurons through the receptor and this message will be going to the brain now the second one uh, which we are seeing that is a relay neuron or that is also called as association neuron in which basically there are uh, two structure that is a motor and sensory neuron so this act as a relay junction through which the messages move so as you see the structure of the relay neuron you will see that there is a dendrite cell body and exon so there are three structure which is found here in the relay uh, neuron so relay neuron are the basically they pass the signal from sensory neurons and to other interneurons to motor neurons so they this is a pathway through which the messages are moving from sensory neuron to the brain and from the brain to the motor neuron so that is why we called it as a relay junction or a association neuron because it is having both the sensory and motor fibers now the last one is the motor neurons so motor neurons are the neurons which carry impulses from the main nervous system to an effector muscles or gland so motor neurons basically they have motor fibers they carry nerve impulses from the brain or spinal cord to the effector organ that is a muscle or glands to bring them into action thanks for watching the video please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get new videos